Um, <laughs> in, um, in Judd Apatow films, the actors are encouraged to uh, what they call take swings. And um, needless to say, that bit about the girl being unappeared was one of Jonah's swings. And um, that becomes something you do over and over and over in Judd's films. And the idea is to integrate those swings that are very funny. I don't know if you've seen the movie. There was a lot with uh, Sean Combs where they kind of got him to come out of his shell. And he was, he was really funny in the movie. Uh, and by doing so, uh, it, it stays very organic and natural. And it's, it's not scripted. And sometimes those are really great moments. Uh, the challenge as an editor is to make those moments feel organic to the film and not uh, as if you're just stopping to do a bit. Um, although most of the time you are stopping to do a bit, but uh, to make it, as I said, uh, organic to the character and to the narrative structure. Uh, and when it works, uh, it's funny. That particular scene, although the opening to it is not particularly comedic, kind of builds up to a certain point where you, hopefully the laugh is rewarding um, and not just like a Russell Brand kind of thing where he tries to stay on throughout the whole scene. Lastly, the montage. It is an inescapable part of filmmaking. From Chaplin and Keaton comedy set pieces to those yeehaw scenes of the great Technicolor Westerns, from Goodfellas to Gossip Girl, it is where music is king. A good montage does not stop a film for a music video. Rather, it should drive the narrative, advance the film, while at the same time offering the audience a burst of musically driven energy or a contemplative interlude. It should also be noted that a good montage can also be successful by stopping a film for a music video. Cleverly masking where a film may lack a driving narrative. Employing an editorial sleight of hand where music does the bulk of the work. Um, whatever, whatever television, documentaries, uh, feature filmmaking, all of it, there is um, a huge part of it in, uh, as the audiences have become keener to it, and that is the integration of music into the uh, structure. And um, it's, it's actually a lot of fun. I enjoy it a great deal. Um, it, it can be terribly frustrating um, to find the right piece of music or to be told to use this piece of music and it may not be your aesthetic, but making it work is a lot of fun. Uh, it can be both dramatic and comedic. And I just picked these montages because I like them uh, for no other reason than uh, when I did them, I remember thinking this is, this is fun and, and it was rewarding to be a part of that, that uh, sort of that day in the, in the cutting room and have the director walk in and go, wow, awesome, as opposed to when it's not that. Uh, anyway, these are The Affair of the Necklace with Hillary, The Life Aquatic, uh, which is probably my favorite film that I've done with Wes. Um, it was most extremely difficult, but, but fun, a small indie, called Frenemy with Matthew Modine, you'll notice, and uh, one more from Rushmore.